Now suppose area is pi r squared, area of a circle. Imagine dropping a pebble in still water and circular, circular ripples form and notice that each ripple is like a circle. So when you look at the starting point and going outwards, notice that what we have is circles of increasing radius. So what are the things that are changing in each circle? The area is changing with respect to time. The radius is changing with respect to time. So as time increases, the circles are getting bigger and bigger, right? So both area of the circle and the radius are increasing with respect to time, okay? So we have area equals pi r squared. Now it says express dA by dt in terms of dr by dt. Notice that both a and r are functions of time, okay? So we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to a third variable, which is t. So area is a variable, radius is a variable, area and radius are functions of time, and both can be differentiated with respect to a third variable, which is time. So dA by dt, is equal to, sorry, this is pi times d by dt of r squared. Remember that pi is a constant. Now we're going to differentiate r squared not with respect to r. d by dr of r squared is 2r. But what is d by dt of r squared? So we use the chain rule. So first we differentiate r squared with respect to r. So we get 2r times the derivative of the inner function which is r with respect to the variable t. So this is just the chain rule. So we have 2r dr by dt. So dA by dt is equal to 2 pi r dr by dt. So suppose we are given the rate of change of radius with respect to t, let's say it is I'm just making this up um, two point five inches per um, second. Okay, so then how do we calculate dA by dt? It is equal to two pi, and let's say the radius at this point is um, let's say six inches. Okay then that would be r, which is 6 inches, and dr by dt, which is 2.5. We can simplify this expression, leave the pi alone, and simplify the rest. So that is equal to 30 pi square inches per second. Notice that if the measure of um, distance is inches, then the measure of area will be inches squared.